1998, a boy, a University of Wyoming student named Matthew Shepard, was taken out to a fence by two other young men and beaten and robbed and left there to die. And well, the crime was committed because he was gay. He was laying there for a while, 18 hours they say. Um, he never regained consciousness and then he died a few days later in the hospital. And when he died, um, people all over the world started talking about how something like that could happen. Members of the Tectonic Theater Project traveled there and they conducted interviews with many people of the town afterwards about people's reactions to what happened. The interviews were uh, various people, maybe somebody that had seen him the day before he passed away, or a close family member, or maybe a friend. One of the things that struck me when I first read the Laramie Project was the different views. Like, they have somebody from jail, Andrew Gomez, who talks about how uh, Aaron McKinney was put in their j jail and some of the harsh or concepts. And then there's the priests who both like and dislike the gay rights. And it's all just very well done. And it, it, it really takes into play everyone's point of view about the murder of Matthew Shepard. It's acceptance in general. It's not. We were saying this when we first read the play, it's not telling you what to think, it's not saying you need to believe that being gay is okay, it's not even wholly about Matthew Shepard, it's about acceptance in general. They talk about, um, Zubaida Ula talks about being accepted for being Muslim and wearing a headscarf. Different people talk about being accepted for different things and it's about more than tolerance because tolerance is not liking somebody but not doing anything about it, but acceptance is loving them and not hating them, so I think it's it's about all kinds of acceptance, not just towards gay people. And what I think the Laramie Project does more than just talk about it is it, it promotes talk about it. It promotes a conversation. It shows people that, yes, there, there is violence. It speaks a very powerful message, and I felt I wanted to be part of that message. I hope people can see this play and maybe see themselves in one of the characters. I Maybe someone will be shocked to see that they've said things similar to what you know Fred Phelps is saying or some of the other characters and I want people to see if hate dictates their lives and hopefully people will be able to take this and use it as a mirror sort of to evaluate themselves and see if they're hurting other people. Well I hope people um, understand that people are different and people can be very mean and I think what people will understand after seeing the show is that the meanness that starts that might be something innocent, like the F word, can grow into something like a murder. And it can really not only change that one person's life, but change a whole community. When it comes into it, we are all humans, we are all the same, and that we all deserve the right to live and be happy. And not take that away from anyone else.